Today is day 11 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and I have a very interesting problem for you guys for today as well. Now, as you can see, the problem statement is pretty simple. We have been given an input table and we need to write a query which is going to derive the output as shown here. Okay. Now, let us better understand this by reading the problem statement. Now, in the given input table, there are hotel ratings which are either too high or too low compared to the standard ratings the hotel receives each year. Write a query to identify and exclude these outlier records as shown in the expected output. Okay. Now, what they basically mean is if you see here, this is a table about different ratings the hotel has received in each year. Okay. So, we have information about two different hotels, Radisson Blue and Intercontinental. So, for different years, there are ratings mentioned. Now, we need to remove the outlier records. Now, what do you mean by outlier records? Basically, any record that is either too far away or much different from all the other records. Okay, so if you see here, you can see for the year 2021, 22 and 23, the ratings of Radisson Blue is 3.5, 3.2, 3.4, which are kind of like very close by, right? Very similar. Whereas for 2020, the rating was 4.8, right? Now, out of these four records, if I have to find the outlier record or the record which looks much different from all the other record, then it is basically the record number one. Right. So in our output, we should basically exclude this record and show the remaining three records. That is what we need to do. OK. Now, in this particular case, the outlier record or the rating was much higher than basically the standard rating the hotel receives. Right. Whereas in the second hotel, Intercontinental, you can see that it has ratings for 2020 4.2, then 4.5, then 1.5 and then 3.8. Right now here you can see that the outlier record just by looking we could say that it should be for the 2022 that is with the rating 1.5 right. So in our output that rating or the year 2022 with the rating 1.5 is kind of excluded. Now we can easily identify the outlier record just by looking at it but how do you transform this in a query right how do you write a query to find this and it's not just for this particular data the query should probably work for any other kind of data as well right now they have also told us that the output that we provide should follow the same order as shown here okay so this is one more thing that we should remember at the end okay i hope you understand the problem statement so as you know as part of this 30 day query challenge you know what you have to do, right? You now can download the data set and the problem statement from my blog or from my Discord server. So try to solve it using any database of your choice and then share your solution in Discord, okay? And then help each other. Now I will be solving this problem in PostgreSQL database and I'm using the PG admin tool. Now, as you can see, I have already created the table. The table name is hotel ratings. It has these eight records as I showed in the problem statement. So let us come up with a logic that we could probably build to solve this. Okay. And let's say we'll only consider this first four uh, records. Okay. For Radisson Blue. Now I can see that the, these three records, the values are almost similar, right? There is minor difference, whereas this is like majorly different, right? How could I basically identify which is the record which is majorly different? Now, what I could probably do is I could take the average rating for this hotel. Okay. So if I take the average rating for this hotel, I think it should probably be around uh, three point something. I think it should be around, I don't know, probably 3.6 or something like that. Right. So once I get the average rating for this uh, hotel, then I could find the difference between each of this rating and the average rating. Okay. So let's say the average rating is 3.6 for this. Okay. Then if I see the difference between the average rating and each of this, so difference between 3.6 and 3.5 would be minimum 3.2 and 3.6 also would be somewhat minimum 3.4 and 3.6 also would be somewhat minimum, but the difference between 4.8 and 3.6 would probably be little more. So that means the outlier record would always have the biggest difference between the average rating and its current rating, right? So once I have that value, then probably I could order the data such that I could provide a rank or a row number for that particular record and then exclude it in my final query, right? And the same thing I could do with intercontinental. I find the average of this. So the average of this could probably be, probably it is somewhere around four, right? So average rating. And then if I find the difference between each of this rating with the average rating, I think it would be minor difference. 
only in this particular outlier record, the difference would be major, right? And that is how I could identify that and then probably use a window function to exclude that record, okay? So this is the logic that I will be using. Now, as part of that logic, the first thing that I need is I need to find the average rating, right? Now, I need the average rating to be shown across every record, right? So I cannot use aggregate function. That is, I cannot do group by. If I do group by, I'll lose, I'll basically get one record for each of this hotel, right? I do not want that to happen. What I want is I want to find the average rating, but I still want to keep all the records. If this is your requirement, then the best thing is you can still use the aggregate function, but you can use it as a window function right by using the over clause now what am i trying to find the average of it is the column rating and over i need the average for each hotel so i need to partition the partition the data so i'll say partition by hotel okay and then i'll say order by year okay and i think that's all and this one i'm just going to call it like average rating okay if i run this I'm getting the data, but there are too many decimal points. So let me just remove, I'll just make two decimal points. Okay, so I'll just use the round uh, function, round and up to two decimal points. If I run this, now it looks much neater, right? But if you look carefully, the average of, let's say intercontinental, I'm getting different average in every record. This is not right, right? The average of this whole thing should have been just one value, right? And it should have been the same value for all the four records, okay? But do you know why we are getting this different values? If you have probably watched my previous videos, then you would probably know what is the reason for this. And the reason for this is because of the default frame clause. Okay. Now I am using the PostgreSQL database. Probably if you're using some other database, maybe if you're, I think it's in SQL server, okay, or maybe some other database, the default frame clause might, might be something else. Okay. But in PostgreSQL, the default frame clause is something like this. It is something like range between unbounded preceding and current row. Okay. So if you guys remember this syntax, this syntax is basically called the frame clause, right? Now I'll not explain this in detail. I have made a video about window functions part two, where I have explained in detail what this means. Okay. And how this actually works. I'll leave the link to that video somewhere in the description. Okay. You can probably watch that if you want to learn frame clause in detail. Okay. But in short, what this means is now when I created a partition, that means SQL is going to create a window for each of the unique value in this particular column. So for intercontinental, it's going to create one window, okay, or you can also call it like a partition. And then for radius and blue, it's going to create another window. And whatever function you use here, this function will be applied separately for each window, okay. So that is what this window function does. But once you have created this window, SQL also executes this function specific to each frame. So there is this whole eight records is called as a result set. Within that result set, I'm creating two different partitions or two different windows based on the hotel. And within each window, again, there is something called as a frame. Okay. And that frame is determined by this clause. Okay. And by default, this is what the frame that SQL gets access to. Okay. So what this means is within your window, you, whenever you execute, so when SQL is executing the first row, it gets access to the unbounded preceding. Unbounded preceding basically means from the very beginning of your window. So very first row of your window. Okay. So that from here until the current row, the current row is again this row. When you're processing the first record, the current row is only this. So when you're trying to find the average of 4.2, it will still be 4.2. That is why you're getting 4.2. When SQL processes the second record, the unbounded preceding is the first row from the window. That is again the first row here, but the current row is only here. So it only has access to the first two records. So the average of 4.2 and 4.5 is probably 4.35. Okay. So basically when SQL is executing this average function, it's not having access to the, all the records of the window. It only gets access to the records within each frame. Okay. So if we want SQL to overlook at this default frame and get access to all the records within that window, then we need to change this frame clause. And how we can change that is after your order by, you can just mention it here. Okay, so here you can just tell, I can just copy this whole uh, clause, okay, and I can just put it here, okay, and I'll just put this here, okay. Now I'll run this, now I told you that this is the default frame clause, so if I add this and if I run it, I'll still get the same output. So as you can see, there is no change in the output, okay, because this is what happens by default, whether you mention this uh, syntax or not, by default this happens. Now I want to change this current row to something like 
till the end of the window right and i can mention that by saying unbounded following okay and now if i run this now you can see that i am getting the correct average okay so because now every time sql is processing a record it has access to all the records within the window and within that all the record it is finding the average and displaying it here okay so for intercontinental the average rating is 3.5 for radisson blue the average rating is 3.73 okay i hope you understand this now i have got my average value the next thing that i want to do is i want to find the difference between this average value and each of this rating okay so that i know the one with the highest difference is basically the record that I need to exclude, right? Now, in order to do that, I'll just put this into a CTE. So I'll say with CTE as, and I'll just move this to the right. And here I'll just put this and I'll just say select from CTE and I'll say star. And I want to find the difference, right? So the difference would basically be a rating minus uh, average rating okay just for understanding now if i run this you can see that i am getting the difference here but there are some negative values i do not want to see the negative values right so i'll use the inbuilt function absolute so that i can exclude the negative basically the sign right now if i run it now you can see that it's just telling me the difference okay and if you see carefully just for this intercontinental the difference of one Okay, I, okay, the highest difference is basically record number three, which is two, and this is exactly the record that I want to exclude. When I come to Radisson Blue, the highest difference is basically for the record number one, and that is exactly the record I want to exclude, right? So somehow I have to exclude these two records, which has the highest absolute difference, right? Now, one way of doing that is I could probably use a window function, probably rank, okay? So I can say rank over okay and again i'll do the same partition by hotel okay and i'll say order by this time i want to order based on this absolute value right this this value i want to order such that the one with the highest value probably i'll keep it at the top okay so that it will always have the rank as one right and then i can remove exclude wherever the rank is one right so what i'll do is i'll just use this whole uh, value that I used okay so inside the order by I'll use this whole difference okay and then I'll say in descending order so that the one with the highest difference will be at the top okay and I'm going to call it like let's say rnk now if I run this now you can see that I am getting the record so rnk1 this is basically the record with the highest difference right so that is at number one and for radisson blue the first record is basically this one that is with the rating 4.8 because it has the highest difference of 1.07 okay now both the records that i wanted to exclude as part of this problem is having the rank as one right so now what i can do is i'll move this again into another cte okay and i'm just going to call it like cde rnk as and i will just put this inside the parenthesis and here i can just tell select from cte rnk where rnk is greater than one i do not want to include the record where the rank is one so i'll take all the records where the rank is greater than one and the values that i want to fetch are hotel year and rating right so now if i run this you can see that i am i have I am getting the six records that I wanted in my output, okay? And if you look carefully, you can see that for Intercontinental, I have these three valid records. And for Radisson Blue, also I have the records that I wanted, okay? So this is the output that I wanted. But the order is not same. I wanted Radisson Blue to be at the top and then Intercontinental, right? So I need to change that order because that is mentioned in the problem statement. Now, how can I do that? I can just mention order by clause here, order by the hotel, Okay, and I want Radisson to be at the top, right? So Radisson, I can just say in descending order. And then I want the year to follow the proper sequence. So I'll say year, okay? Now, if I run this, I think it is fine. Radisson blue, 2021, 22, and 23. And then intercontinental, 2020, 21, and 23, okay? So this is basically my solution to this particular problem, okay? I hope you like this problem. And if you did, make sure to like the video and share it with your friends. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another interesting problem. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.